Everything about you makes no sense. You're not that pretty, and your hair's a mess. But I like you. Yeah, I like you. If I like you. The world of chocolate is the world of art. Aha, what do we have here? Uh, gingerbread house. And you think true. Zeba is going to cook us? On Gimme Chocolate today, we have two aesthetically pleasing, inventive artists. Milk, dark, darker. Darker. Darkest. <laughs> yeah. One is widely recognized TV and film actor and the other is one of India's finest contemporary artists. Why don't I borrow for you instead? Oh, uh, thank you. So why don't I do the 54%? Okay. There you, you go. go. <laughs> what else is happening here? Cookies. Biscotti. Okay, I'm going to go for some seeds. Do you want some? Seeds? I'm contemplating. Do the healthy okay. thing. I'm going to get some blueberry. Well spotted. I'm also going to do Berry. drizzle of blueberry. Actually, the brownie looks good. Would you drop one in mine as well? Sure. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Please welcome Simone Singh and Jaydeep Mehrotra. I'm so I'm excited to, to have you. you with me, Simone and Jadeep. You know why you're here, right? Because you love us so much. <laughs> Without a question. And you want to give us lots of goodies to eat? Is that why? Lots of goodies for you to eat and you're going to give me lots of secrets because oh, I'm going to dig nice and deep. So I want to dig into your cup. I want to know what's the chocolate that you've got because I'm going to read all about your personality through the chocolate and topping you have taken in your glass. And these are my chocolate cards. Oh my, that's what's going on there. That's you know, exactly what's going on. Which chocolate you have in your cup? Aha. Uh -huh. I can't wait to tell you. So I've got a base of the 70% dark. Let's see what the 70% dark card says about you. You are wildly intelligent. That is so true. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you. So you can see that everything is very, very predictable. Well, thank you for your card and I, I sincerely hope it was accurate. <laughs> You're being both very it's, kind. It it's is, only it it's is. only the start, you know, uh, besides being We're only getting warmed up. <laughs> okay. What's next? There's more. There's a lot more coming up. Uh -huh. Jadi, what's the chocolate in your glass? So, I went a little sweeter than that. I went 54%. Let's see what the 54% dark card says about you, Jadi. You are very mature. Oh, thank you. Ah. <laughs> That's nice to know. So back to you, Simone. I need to know your topping. A walnut, because I'm a big fan of nuts and seeds. Walnuts. Hmm. You're a thrill seeker. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, this is an aspect of me that I have yet to encounter, but I love it. <laughs> I love You're it. You're sitting here experimenting <laughs> with chocolate. Okay. Exactly. No, I know because you love to travel and always look to find out new things, discover, experiment new foods. I think that's all about the thrill. Yes, the thrill of discovery is very much something that thrills me, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> Jaydeep, you need to tell me your topping <clears throat> in your glass. I'm a small eater, so I'd say mixed seeds. My chocolate cards predict and read your personality as a perfectionist. Wow. I think you're a perfectionist. Oh, thank you. Because I know so much of your work. I love your art and I've seen it evolve over time. I know with your mum, you went to Jahangir Sabawala's uh, museum and you saw his art. It was at an exhibition. It was at uh, Jahangir Art Gallery and I was a little kid. I was like 11 years old and I hadn't seen oil painting before then. I was completely fascinated, went back home insist to my mother, I want oil paints. I don't care where you get it from. And she took me to this shop. I didn't know how to use them, but I got the paints. And when I took it back to school, the professor was so excited. He said, took it around to the whole art department and said, look what he's done on his own. That's really impressive. Because I also know that you were very young when you had your first exhibition. I was all of 13. 
Oh my. That is crazy. My goodness, you really were a prodigy. You were a child prodigy. When you're motivated, you'll do things to make it work for you. So, I guess that's what it is. And now it's become your life's work, you know. Yeah, how, how amazing. Yeah. yeah. We are talking about life's work, Simone. Small screen, big screen. Is it uh, completely different to work in digital medium? The medium itself is very different. When you're acting for the big screen, you don't amplify things because you're just huge up there, right? Uh, when you're acting for the small screen, you may need to amplify a little. When you're acting on stage, you need to project a little. How the hell do you act for a telephone screen? Because some person could be watching it on a 60-inch screen. Another person could be watching it on their little personal device. So you do what you do and you hope that whatever nuance you're trying to convey will come across. So it's an it's exciting same, time to be an actor. It's yeah, an exciting it's time to be an like artist. It's the same like in painting. Uh, yeah. you, know, you never know, yeah. you know new mediums what are coming in every day. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The Art, chocolate, I mean the tastes are changing. Absolutely. I know you both love to travel. And I know you love good food. I'd love to hear your favorite food destination. Well, Italy would have to be one because the first time that Fahad and I went to Italy together was very, very, very special. It was, I think, a six week long holiday. So, you know, you really, it was very immersive because six weeks just allows you the immersion into food and art and culture and architecture and, you know, just makes your head swim. That was the first time in my life when I came back from there to my Bombay kitchen and I said, I want to see if I can recreate those flavors because those flavors are not hard to uh, recreate in, in, yes. yeah. But that was the first time that I was inspired to, you know, start cooking in my own kitchen. And now I'm an avid cook. I love to cook. Talking about delicious food, I know Jaydeep loves pav bhaji. Haji <laughs> yeah. Ali pav bhaji. We made it for somebody in France, in Paris, on a whim. And then we went looking for ingredients for a pav bhaji. That was really tough. So did you have the pav bhaji masala? No, you know, the we, we, masala? No, we, bought, we bought all the masalas separately and mixed them together. But it turned out to be really good. It's funny how you have to sort of improvise, exactly. but it works out just fine. I'm so excited because there's so much more to hear from you. And we're going to take a quick break and be right back. I'm going to like you anyway. Yeah, like you.